if you are a young person who is queer in a community where they tell you you can't even read about queerness, what does that say about your existence? If you're the only black student in a predominantly white school and they're like, we can't even read books that talk about black pride, what does that say about what you should be prideful about? What does that say about how they see you? So for me, it doesn't make me sad, it just makes me realize um, the different ways they try to disempower folks and they try to disempower communities who are trying to say, not only do we exist, but we should be allowed joy, we should be allowed stories that show us in our fullness, we should be allowed stories that, that question, right, the hierarchies that have made us feel disempowered, that's what they're pushing against, right? And so it, it makes me realize that at many different levels, we are being attacked. Those of us who are coming from demographics that aren't often represented and are still trying to be shut down from being represented. Someone who was a teacher, I'm just like, how, I know how smart my students were. I know how, how savvy they were, how they were looking at the world and analyzing what was happening, and they're trying to remove the tools from those students being able to say, yes, now I have more information, now I have a lot more to, to use at my, at my disposal when I'm talking about these issues. So it makes me angry. Um, and it makes me feel like y'all are being underestimated. 